Welcome back. Well, you know, if there was one partnership in Dancehall that appeared stable and rewarding, it would have to be that of Vibes Cartel and Corey Todd. So I must say for the record that Corey Todd yeah. is, a, is a remarkable partner mm -hmm. and he's a marketing genius. Okay. Yeah, man. Straight up. Big up, Corey. <gasps> it's a partnership that grew the Vibes Cartel brand into an enviable business, the empire. But all of a sudden, it is no more. We're joined right now by Corey Todd. Corey. How you doing? Blessed man. Right. Welcome. Thanks for coming. No problem. All right. So, so what is what is the what is the problem? What is the dispute about? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, Winfrey, um, this dispute has been brewing over the past three to four months. Yes. Um, as you know, we operate the Build a Night Club. Um, Vibes Cartel, as the artist I met three years ago, that I've worked fiercely to become a dancehall icon. It's not the same vibes cartel I knew then, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's changed. Of course, yes. He's changed a lot, not just in personal features, but as a person as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what, 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 what drew you to him in the first place? Well, I mean, four years ago, I saw he was on an island, basically three, three to four years ago. I saw that he was kind of segregated in dance hall. I saw that he had an underground following, similar to like Adonia right now currently. Mm -hmm. And I saw he had a, a real fan base that was underground, a younger fan base, that I, I think eventually that if he was groomed the right way, that he could be the leading artist in dance hall. Okay. Uh, he had just left the Alliance. Um, he was working with some, he was trying to de um, develop some other artists. He didn't know exactly what he wanted to do at the time. So me and him talked. You know, because I actually came here on a hip hop project because I used to work with the brand Pimp Juice, which is which was owned by Nelly, okay. and so I got him to do a commercial with me. That's how I met him, and I thought the guy w was you know remarkable, and and he had that star ability, and I and I liked his music. Mm -hmm. I thought he needed to slow down his lyrics and make have a better delivery and have more melody and that type of thing, and those are things that we worked on and developed. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean. We took it from nothing and turned into everything. I'm a very quiet person. I mean, I'm not the hype guy. You know, he let, tried to bring me out and want me to be in videos, and, but I never was about that. So a lot of people might be shocked to even know, well, who is this Corey Todd saying all these things? But So, so Corey Todd is mm -hmm. from the U.S. You're an American citizen. Right. My wife is a Jamaican. Uh, your right. wife is a Jamaican. Right. Where, where in the U.S.? Um, well, I grew up in a small town, Mississippi, but I, I lived all over. Okay. You understand? I was in D.C., just all over. I, I used to own restaurants. I was in the promotions. I helped start, okay. uh, work with Pimp Juice, Nelly's brand. I mean, so you're a marketer. You're trade. more of a marketer. Than I'm a businessman, Winfrey. I've okay. done almost everything, you know. And I love the music business. I'm passionate about it. And you know, that's that's what drew me to Jamaica. I believe in dance. So you are the one brand. who made the initial approach to Vibe. Of course. Okay. Vibe Cartel never thought about owning a business before. So you told them about, you advised them on the brand building. Um, I didn't advise them. I built the brand. You built the brand. And I told them what to do. Okay. You understand? And, and he says he's the puppeteer, but I'm the real puppeteer, you know. Okay. So he the brand you, you built. Right. Unfortunately. And you, you built the vibes, the vibes room as well. Of course. And, you, and what else? The, the, uh, the, 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 the building? Mean, all right. We started with a very high-end vibes room product that didn't work out because cartel fan base current fan base could afford it but it wasn't something they were going to buy every day like the product street vibes right mm -hmm. and then before the after vibes rum i started something called dagger and condoms right it was okay. very successful but the reason i stopped it is because i was getting faulty con the condoms weren't faulty but i got complaints of busted condoms right mm -hmm. so i thought to myself i was like hey this is a guy where this brand is attached to vibes cartel these condoms are busting. Maybe I should get out of this business. So I just stopped it cold turkey. And okay. it was successful, but like anything else as a businessman, if you don't feel like the product you're selling is safe and with it being tied to an artist, all condoms bust, you know. With Jamaica being high in humidity and those type of things, all those have the effect on condoms busting or whatever. But I didn't want to be associated with a brand like that. I said, you know what? Let me stop this project. So I stopped that project. I had started the Street Vibes project. And I focused all my effort on Street Vibes and built it into a, a real brand. Mm -hmm. And from Street Vibes, I, I started Street Vibes Thursday. Cartel endorsed it to the fullest. I mean, we worked together. We built it. I mean, I can't sit here and say, without Vibes Cartel, 
these brands would have been successful. But I could have used any other popular artist, you know. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Vice Cartel had a draw. I, I took advantage of that draw, and I made them bigger than life. I mean, it's something about when you step in a building nightclub. Even though I, got, I had to fight with him because I have pictures of Bounty, because I respect him as a DJ. I have pictures of Beanie. I have pictures of Shaba. And I had to fight with him too for nail to get in there because I said, listen to me, Cartel. You can't own a nightclub. And your music alone for play. You were there to get pictures of that you're course, on the wall. Because mm -hmm. I believe in dance out of dance. And the reason why I was attracted, re even the reason, because I was off of the building, you know. Because I have the relationship with those guys. And I go to Cartel and I, say, and, and I, and I give Cartel basically a split the business with him because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm loyal to him. And I said, listen, it's going to look great for you. No dance hall artist has ever owned a club, you know. This the club you wanted your songs to but bust in. But the offer was made to you initially, and you bring him in on it. Of course. So were you a, a, an equal partner? You're a, what was your equity in, 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 the, in the business? In which uh, one? 50, the 50? street vibes? Or? In the whole business. Okay. Let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to you. As well as the... Let me break it down to you. When I first came to Jamaica, mm. the first initial project, Vibes Rum, was just an endorser. Right? He was just the endorser. It, basically, he would get paid whatever 10% of profits or whatever it worked out okay. to be, right? But with that project not working and the relationship that me and Vibes Cartel developed, I said, you know what? Let me get this guy a break and show him the way because he was having his issues, you know. And I wanted to change his outlook on life and say, look, stop preying the wrong thing and pre business, you know. Mm -hmm. So I said, look, let's do this thing fair. We're a 50 50 partner, you know, because I want you to give it your all. I okay. want you to sing about it as much as you possible without it looking corny. I want you to plug it as much. So I'm going to give you half and let's work and build this thing, you know. Because you got to realize, I save a lot of money on marketing and stuff because he did have the brand power and we pushed that. Because let me tell you something, Winford, when I'm buying out all these radio spots, you know, and it's beating it in the people's head, a dim thing, that bus song, you know. When did the do nigga start the boat, make it love the beer with street boys from? You understand what I'm saying? When I tell Cartel, look, stop, sing, stop. Stop DJing so fast, you know. Everybody can't understand you. Slow the thing down. Yeah, people can say, how Corey Tiger can say, him help Vibe Scott tell career. Him not write song. Him not sing song. But listen to me. The music business is, you, you hear the last part of that? Business. 95% of a business, 5% talent, you know. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, I guarantee you, you know, because when for no boy can make me leave Jamaica, you know, because I love it, you know. Okay. You understand? Me know my life is threatening, you know. You understand? So your life is under threat. Of course. But let me tell you something, Winford. The reason why I'm in here, because I, mean, I like TV and I, mean, I like people to know me, you know. The reason why I'm here, you know, is because I, mean, I don't want that boy that'll come cry at my funeral like me and him are friends, you know. I, mean, I want Jamaica to know me and him is not friends. My life is threatening him, my enemy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. That's what Jamaica need to know. So you. what's what's going to happen to the building now, Vans, well, I mean, Vans Rum and so on? Well, I can, I can, I can speak freely about street vibes, you know, because I blend that and create that, you know. Mm -hmm. Vice Cartel has never been to that. Oh, I'm sorry. He's been to the factory one time to check me to say hello. You understand? Vice Cartel has, an, has a hand in everything. Okay. Yeah, man. Nothing can really happen without Vice Cartel. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs> on it. You know so what I mean? you're really CEO. Yeah, hands man. on in this. Hands thing. on, man. I, I, Vice Cartel has a hand in everything, you know what I mean? I can't just leave things up to people to do. So Cartel knows nothing about rum, you know. So that's done, you know. Because me will do another project with another artist. So you, it's dead? It's going to die? That's dead, you know. And it's, it's sad, you know. But I can't work with somebody like that, you know. Mm -hmm. When my life is threatened. And the know. building? The building, you know, that's very interesting, you know. But it, it's basically because the building was a situation where it hasn't been fully purchased, you know. Okay. You understand? And... There was a need, payment plan. Hold on. His name... It's not on the lease, neither mine, you know. So okay. that place that can't open, you know. You understand? It can't open, you know. If him go in there, open it. <laughs> he don't even have keys to the place. Me'll put it that way. Uh, I got the keys. If you go in there, open, he basically breaking the entry, you know. Okay, so it's closed now. Of course, it's closed, and I don't plan to open it neither, you know. Winford, I'm walking away from millions, you know. I've invested three years of my time. Yo, Winford. As you notice, I'm not trying to my own home, but me far from a fool, you know. Me could do anything in this world me put my mind to, you know. Yeah. And me sit here and waste three years of my life on cartel. But me tell you this, Jamaica, 
May I rise another artist and may I show everybody of me was the force behind Vibes Cartel. Yeah, him gonna still run the place with his tunes because I'm very talented, you know. But he's not the icon that people think he is. He's not the businessman that people think he is. Okay. And he has nothing. All right. You know what the fans are saying about Vibes Cartel right now? I love his music, but I mean, I rate him as a person, you know. Mm -hmm. The man will the lead the place astray. I don't understand. You see, since we purchased the bins, you know, the man changed, you know. Mm -hmm. Money changed people, you know. You understand? Him yeah. just, it, ego is bigger than this room we in, you know. Best of the best was advertised. A, perform <laughs> a, a, a performance <laughs> by, by Cartel, best of the best that was supposed to be um, sent to, to the, the venue in Florida via satellite from the building. What, what, what's, the, what's, what's that now? What, what well, happened you're to that? To well, me think you're going to have to find another venue, you know. Uh, 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 <laughs> they can't keep there, you know. Can't uh -huh. keep there. You won't allow it? Me, it? It ain't up to me. I mean, listen to me. Who is it up to? They, 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 who is it up no, to? No, I mean, listen to me. Right now, I mean, a lot of stuff has gone on in that building, you know. From and I've tried to stop it, you know. From selectors being beaten, I mean, it's already been talks of that license being poor, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite sure of this because of the hostility that is surrounded by that place right there, and of somebody now with any reason going to run it. The police can't issue a permit to a place like that if that's how the place going to run. You can't beat selectors and say your music alone for play. You can't burn selectors in the face with cigarettes. Or that's where it stop, you know, Winford. You understand? Yeah, of course, I'm with Cartel. I said Gaza because it was beneficial and, and, and it made sense for money. But I always wanted Gaza to be more than just division. And I always tried to teach him, said, listen, man, you're a big man in the business. Why you fight Bounty Killer song, Bad Man Not For Friend Fish? You're a fish? Why that song offend you so, you know? Mm. It's a good song. Me like it. <laughs> Movado, you know, sometimes he when I have certain selectors play, he bad them up and them scared to play certain music, you know. You can't, you can't be at the building at 3 o'clock in the morning and I pl play Movado, hot song. Man, I pepper them a ketchup. You got to play them songs. He don't want them songs to play. He want 20 cartels to play back to back. So there has yeah, been some tension for quite some time. Of course. Between both of you. Of course, because I'm saying, let's run the business. And he say, let's be a patty shop. Mm. So it, it's affect the bottom line. All right, let me, let me give you a joke. Man, he made a compromise, you know. Right? I said, all right. Because he must say... Him run the uptown people, and Saturday night is kind of our uptown night. So, I said, listen to me. Just please, don't come with your foolishness on Saturday. So, Tuesday and Thursday, every Tuesday and Thursday, he dealt with the foolishness. Guess what, Winford? The Thursday night was the biggest night in the club, you know. Mm -hmm. You talk about a thousand people on a Thursday night, every Thursday night. Nobody could even think about starting a Thursday night party. He started the foolishness. Right now, it's down to nothing, you know. Tuesday night, boy, down to nothing, you know. Because you know why? People can't come to a club alone and listen to cartel. People don't like the arms house. But you see, Saturday night, I get selectors in. We, 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 we juggle. We, we play music. We do what I intended to do. Give people the original dance hall vibes. And it works. But that brother there, him, him, his ego, bigger than we all, you know. And I, it, it, it can't last, you know. Corey. We're out of time, so thanks for coming in and sharing right, with us. No we, problem. We hope to hear from, from Cartel to hear his side. I hope you do, you know. And, um, and I'd be I, interested to see what he has to say, you know. I, I hope, <laughs> though, you've parted ways um, that you both can find your own way and your own space in this Jamaican well, life. I'm fine, you know. Okay, and, and yeah, I know that. I know you're also, you, you, know. you have interest in the quality. Oh, uh, we don't so want to talk about that. We're, we're <laughs> but there you, there you have it right here on stage in this segment. The man called Corey Todd. A very, very dynamic businessman who continues to strive right here in Jamaica for the best, even though a great partnership is no longer. Stay with us.